Hey guys, Hick Osk here, and uh, I finally got my new sabers in, so let's open these guys up. And uh, once again, for Monster Sabers, this was a priority two day shipping when I'd originally paid for the regular rate. Cool. <laughs> and once again, I'm uh, very pleased with how quick they got here. Uh, it said it would come yesterday, but for some unknown reason, it didn't. But I got it today, and now let's find out what we got here. So I should have two savers here, and it looks like I opened up the other end. But uh, that's okay. Let's just flip this guy around. Yeah, I opened the blade end of it. So, again, I'm expecting a consular and a completely random third place... Uh, hilt, which means it's a lithium ion stunt, and I have no idea what the color or the blade or the hilt is going to be. So when I open this up, this will be a complete surprise. Okay, so let's pull this out first. Go on and bubble wrap. This appears to be my prize saver. Oh, <laughs> well, well, oh wow, this is a Liberator V3, <laughs> I believe, and this has, oh wow, they really did not, we're not kidding when they say random, uh, this has a bullet tip, <laughs> okay, now for the surprise breaker, ooh, this is Consular Green, and I think this is... Oh, wow. This, I'm pretty sure, is a heavy grade blade. So, ha! Yeah, this is really nice green, guys. This is just consular green in its full glory here. And, uh, you know what? This is just about as bright as my Saber Forge Guardian was. If not, uh, slightly brighter because, of course, the head thicker blade and everything. So, let me... Um find my Allen key, which is under here somewhere. Oh, where the hell did that go? There it is. So, this will help me determine if this really is a heavy grade blade, but it seems to be the correct thickness. Uh, oh, yep, this is definitely a heavy grade. You can tell by how thick it is around here. But yeah, my first bulleted tip heavy grade blade, and you know what? I love it. <laughs> In fact, here, let me uh, give you guys a quick view of that again. And you know what? This hilt is really slim. I'm surprised. Um, this is about as slim as my prophecy, and it's got really nice grooves here. I mean, it gets wider here, but... Yeah, here's the nice point. It doesn't appear fully illuminated, but uh, head-on, it looks pretty good. I'm... Really impressed with this. This is a nice saber. I bet this would be uh, very good for spinning. And especially dueling, this seems to be really nice. I think my nephew would love this. I mean, it's not exactly anything I was expecting. In fact, I didn't even, I expected maybe an initiate or something else with a short blade. This is a full size 36 inch heavy grade. Alrighty. Let's get that down and out of the way. And for the prime reason, ooh. Oh nice, this is my new VP1 charger. And this is the one that's said to revive dead cells from absolute deadness. So this will come in great handy if I somehow happen to kill a cell. And a wall charger. Um. Oh, for the VP1. It comes with this little plug here. That's the wall charger for it. This could also be a charger for the a recharge port. And there's a a car 
car battery conversion for it. This plugs into your car. Wow. So, <laughs> hey, going to Comic Con and needed to charge some quick batteries, plug it into your car. You got charging capabilities on the go. And some business cards, information about the VP1, and a blade plug. Put that out of the way. Packing peanuts. And my prize order saver. And what is that? Uh, um, hang on a sec, guys. Am I blind or? Yep. Uh, console are heavy grade, but what the hell is this? A freaking AV switch? <laughs> Again, this is something I did not ask for. They did this twice in a row. And you know what? It definitely has... Oh, lovely. It's like December 2nd all over again. This... You know what? I'm already in love with this. I'm already in love. It's... It's a Qui-Gon. It's... It's got Obsidian. And for free, they upgraded me to an AV Switch. This is the second time in a row I've not asked for AV switches, rather regular switches, and then got these. Are these now becoming the standard on all ob Obsidian builds? Because it seems to me like it is. I mean, it's... Here's the second time, and I'm going, this is a frickin' AV switch. For nothing. I paid 256 for just this. Because I had to get a blade plug and all, but... I mean, another AV switch. For crying out loud, that's two for two. They've managed to impress me on something that I have never even thought of getting on the Saber. In fact, I actually ordered a switch cover for this to work on an AV. Guess where one of those are going? <laughs> on, on this Liberator, I gotta figure out which one. Probably the red one would make more sense. But um, here, I'm gonna stand back a little. Whoops. Popping the bubble wrap there. Wow. You know what? This liberator is really nice. This makes me equal out in pretty much saber colors. So I got two greens, both of these, and uh, you know what? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, these are pretty much evenly matched in, uh, in brightness, and of course, color. This seems to be slightly lighter, or slightly darker. This is definitely a true green. I have no idea why my eyes are maybe playing tricks on me, but both these sabers are gorgeous, and I definitely have some plans for this Qui-Gon. I mean, this feels... Uh, exactly as I thought it was, if not better, than my Saber Forge variant. And I'm not just playing favorites here, I really prefer this one over that. Just because, um, this one is just so much nicer. I mean, not having, not having these back here means that I could probably take it to somebody and have a couple holes that drilled down here and then have a couple elongated ones up here. The trouble is having to, uh kind of template that out and I don't have another pommel or not another pommel but I won't have another um, thing for that so here let's take a look at this setup that I got of course this lovely obsidian v3 and a couple of brand new truss wires I definitely don't have a short supply of them now and of course this lovely pom pommel I like the design on this. It looks like it vents pretty well. And the fact that it's a thicker looking pommel that seems to stage down, like not stage down, but 
Uh, let's see if I can get some detailing here. Uh, or I'll probably get more detail on my actual review, but it seems to step up into a fatter section, but I love this. Just this, this seems to be either here or like this seems to be an ideal grip. Um, I'm glad that the button is actually closer to the middle so that I get a I get a definite space between the uh, the grips here when I'm uh, gonna be wielding it. So uh, yeah, wow, I'm impressed with this. And this is gonna be my third fully compatible MHS saber. So cool, cool on that. And this is going to be another definite belt hanger. And I believe, hang on a second. I want to find out if they did anything special to this, as well as, not to mention just the AV switch, but because uh, I've actually heard of it, Ultra Sabers being pretty generous about this. Um, oh, nope. Okay, so this is a fixed MLS unit. Um, that is no problem. So that's not going to be interchangeable. I thought that could have been the case, but it looks like the only goodies they gave me uh, were on this was that they should they should really let people know, hey, guess what? You get a free AV switch. Or just surprise them like they've done with me twice when I haven't asked for them. Um, just, I'm totally stunned these these sabers, and especially this uh, Qui-Gon console R is exactly what I thought it would be. <sighs> I've been wanting this saber for quite a long time, and I'm regretting not getting it the first time instead of getting the Saber Forge variant, but um, after I found out to an unfortunate truth of what that saber really was, um, I don't know if any of you guys know the comp the uh, original guy. Uh, I don't know if I remember, but basically, um, one replicas. They made a beautiful Qui Gon, uh, pretty much accurate. It had the groovings, but they weren't as deep, so they were semi accurate grooves, and the whole entire inside of it, because of the grooves, were offset by like a quarter of an inch or something, or not very much. But, um, here, let's get this. I love these blade plugs. I love this saber. This is now... You know what? This saber is really light. This surprises me. Yeah, this saber is pretty light. And you know what's cool? This hangs up pretty, pretty high up on your belt. I like that. Uh, I love the silver detailing here, especially on the emitter here where it steps down. It kind of creates a little bit of a crown and then has this up here. I just, just savor. I'm in love all over again. I mean, I was planning on doing something red right here. Uh, just something or other. Uh, some sort of red button. But uh, I, I was hoping to get the um, guarded switch like on, uh, where is it, there it is, the guarded switch lock on this, but, um, yeah, so I could put a red switch cover over, over the top of that, uh, which comes from Sense the Skyfaller, uh, he does a lot of stuff on Shapeways and, and, uh, uh, AV switch, but, or not switch, momentary buttons and stuff like these are his specialty, and especially since he does those the covers to make these more AV switch-ish. Um, yeah, so I will definitely be doing individual reviews of these. Uh, probably on the console R first because it's has it's alphabetically first, and then we'll see how this will do later on. But I love both of these sabers right now. I'll tell you. Especially the, even this. I mean, this is my first bulleted tip saber. It doesn't shine all the way through or doesn't really uh, illuminate through, but I'm pretty sure this would look really great in the darkness. But, uh, wow, this, this Liberator is just really... I, it loves how it just like kind of tapers off here and then just kind of forms a more solid grip. Like, 
this would be the ideal grip probably because you want to get you want to avoid your button and this just looks like it's a pretty like it's a stowaway saver you'd stow this in your belt belt or something and then you pull it out and that's and then activate it but uh yeah we'll see how my nephew likes green all right um i don't think there's anything else in there unless um, there's some sort of surprises in here unless there's just a bunch more peanuts. Yeah, I'll have to get that cleaned up. Alrighty, this has been the uh, conclusion to this, sec this second video of my unboxings, and I will definitely have reviews of these up uh, probably next week. I still have to do blade reviews, and now I have even more blade reviews to do, especially since now I got a 36-inch heavy grade, which I've been wanting a 36-inch one so I could practice with at length with those and now I have two 36 inch heavy grades so I can duel with each of these at length to get used to the weight differences of these alright so I think I'll call this good and uh, have, yourself, have your guys uh, have a nice day guys hopefully all the rest of your prizes turn out really great and of course may the force be with you and uh, Agos Scout. And I will probably come back for the blade review. That will be very next. That will be the next one. All right. So thank you guys so much for uh, staying tuned and sticking around for this, because I mostly do this for you guys, and I wouldn't really do this for just for kicks. I mean, I actually have a reason to do this, because uh, I know you guys like to see my stuff, and uh, I really appreciate all the views and all the all the likes and all the comments and stuff. Um, I think I'll have to call it good here. Just, just one last shot of this. Beautiful. Alrighty. Have a good night, guys. And, uh, ACOS out.